Good morning, televiewers, and welcome to this edition of the news here at the DBS Television. With me, Maange Venasius Fola, this 28th day of September 2017. We begin the news here in Douala. The population of the Douala One Municipality have been called to collaborate with their newly installed divisional officer to reinstate the order for which Douala One is noted for. This call came from the senior divisional officer for Vuri while installing Wamba Chakwi Jean Marie as the new divisional officer. Williams Amo, who witnessed Pa exchanging hands in that part of the city, brought back the following report. Coming from Douala 5, largest municipality in terms of surface area, Chakwi Jean Marie has a repeat of function as divisional officer for the administrative municipal area, Douala 1. The newly installed takes over from Jean-Marc Equagambaga, who also continues his divisional officing in the Douala 4 council area. As he installs the new divisional boss, Joseph Bertrand Maché, senior divisional officer for Vouri, recommends collaboration to fight banditry, in hygiene, administrative, diplomatic and other crimes perpetrated in the jurisdiction. We uh, are going to enter a political uh, era is very sensitive and uh, the new deal needs the uh, collaboration of each and everyone all living forces all the population have to help him by granting him available information in time to face high banditry and criminality that because of the location of this uh, uh, subdivision you know the port is there where everyone Went there to find himself. A call from the SDO on which the DO believes if implemented by his team, the roadmap will be realized. All the instructions given by the senior department officer were clear in his uh, installation speed. So we hope that with the collaboration of all the population and the leading forces of this subdivision, we will have it possible to enhance. The ceremony in sounds, rhythm, and dance brought a crowd to say goodbye, Equaga Jean Marc, and welcome, Chakwi Jean Marie. In tourism, there is hope in that sector, with some innovations to be made in the days ahead. This positive remark was made yesterday by the regional delegate for tourism in the littoral region as the country joins the world in commemorating the 38th edition of World Tourism Day. In that context, Jaloboba takes us to the east region with huge touristic potentials and sites, some of which are still in their natural, historical and even mysterious states. His report. For anyone who wants to have his or her eyes to feed on natural beauty or discovery, then the place to go is nowhere else but these sites only to be found in the east region of Cameroon. Sites like this one is not only natural in all its forms, but has remained historic and even mysterious to the local population whose long history can still be traced from here. It vividly reminds them of the intertribal wars in those days and their stiff resistance to German colonization. That part of the story is today in the golden book of Cameroon history. What appears to be more important is that these are potential touristic sites but unfortunately abandoned to nature and those who live around them. As the country commemorates World Tourism Day 2017, hope is that it is not too late for those concerned to pay attention to the touristic potentials in Cameroon and the East region in particular. Human rights abuse in Cameroon has been identified as the cause of the social unrest currently being experienced in the country. This was during a press conference organized yesterday by the Central Africa Human Rights Defenders Network in Douala. We have details in the following report. Central African Human Rights Defenders Network, known as REDAC by its French appellation, has lived up to its mission by voicing out the state of respect of human rights in Cameroon. 
at a time when the internal security of Cameroon is at stake with possibilities of abuses of human rights, the founding president of REDAC, Barista Alice Nkom, indicated that the respect of human rights in Cameroon is absent from being the preoccupation of our leaders. This is why we are having this uh, period of trouble in our country, because human rights must be in the center of uh, the preoccupation of our leaders, and they are not. They are just their preoccupation in terms of uh, speeches, not in terms of action. Otherwise, we cannot see our army, instead of serving uh, the well-being of people, uh, turning uh, their, their, their guns against uh, population marching or protesting in our country. She indicated that REDAC is out to help Cameroon to re-examine her approach towards her population and the law. We expect to, to, to help people to look at themselves, to look at their country, to look at the law which must be equal for everybody here and put under the protection of the, 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 the government, which, which is not the situation today. The government seems to be above the law he put in place himself and turning it against his own population. She condemned the non-application of international laws signed and ratified by the authorities of Cameroon. It is not useful for our president to go to the National Assembly in New York while he cannot apply the law of this international uh, institution. And we put it as the main law above all other laws. REDAC, in partnership with Amplify Change, invited activists, academic stakeholders and lawyers to this press conference in order to improve the work of the defenders of general human rights and those of the community in terms of advocacy at the national, regional and international levels. Thus was to find the right tools to better protect human rights in Cameroon. An uneasy calm has been reigning in Bomenda, the northwest regional capital, since the beginning of this week. Observers say the city presents a picture that has been absent since the social unrest that has been going through in that part of the country. We have details in the following report. This is the city of Bomenda, an unusual scene on a day like Tuesday and Wednesday. It has almost been considered as a characteristic feature of this town not to have this lively scene on the first three days of the week since the outbreak of what has come to be called the Anglophone crisis. A visitor could mistakenly conclude that the ghost that had haunted this town for some time now has disappeared and life has returned to normalcy in this part of the country. <laughs> The central market, as well as the commercial avenue, is alive with activities. Could this be an uncommon occasion to permit city dwellers to acquire basic necessities of life before Sunday, October 1, 2017? Unconfirmed <laughs> report says meetings and religious activities that were to hold on Sunday in this part of the country are being programmed for Saturday, 30th of September. This picture of the city of Baminda being experienced this week should not be taken for granted given the fact that everyone expected to see Baminda in tension this week. In Yaoundé, His Majesty Jean-Claude Meyong, a Cameroonian inventor in the scientific sector, is in court with the state in a case that dates some decades back. The third degree chief is accusing some members of government for confiscating his inventions and selling them abroad without him receiving his due. Our Yaoundé based correspondent Francis Bango reports. Here is His Majesty Meyong Jean Claude. Apart from being a traditional authority, this man is an inventor who claims that at least five of his scientific inventions, which are today being commercialized around the world, have not been credited to him because of a foul play by certain members of the government as far back as the time of President Aijo. I have just presented some of my invention to one prize. The prize, the name of that prize was Pri Amadou Aijo. And I've just presented five inventions. I've just presented a branch in mathematics. 
uh, I've just presented uh, two of my invention, helping uh, solving equation, algebraical equation. And uh, I've also invented a scanner that can help to disturb waves, you know, waves. And uh, this can just prevent people from uh, listening radio or tuning to information. And uh, the last thing I've just presented to that prize was uh, another system, another scanner that can help to uh, what we call uh, control remote, remote, remote control. Yeah, remote control. That means that you can just control a lot of electrical system and at the same time. The problem which caused His Majesty Mayong to draw the state of Cameroon to court is the disappearance of his inventions in the country only for some of them to be found commercialized years later abroad. To him, serious damages had to be paid. He was once offered 25 million francs, but he turned down the money, saying the damages are far huger. I have just uh, uh, estimated uh, my uh, damage at about... Uh, Three, uh, 13,000 billion friends for 20 years old of waiting. Up to this moment, the Supreme Court's responses are not encouraging to the inventor who has spent decades without having what it claims are the fruits of his labor. I've been waiting for 20 years old and uh, actually they told me that the court have just decided uh, that i'm um, what we call in french for clue that means that i've just uh, introduced it my case uh, some days after uh, the right time now they call me this time today to see what we can do now they just announced me that the judge in charge of my case has been retired so i just have to wait again for how long i don't know in order to move things faster, he has prepared a voluminous document containing details of his case since 1977, which he intends to lay on the table of the President of the Republic for a solution to be reached. just want the President of the Republic just to intervene, to, to see what we can do. How can the Cameroonian invent and all those inventions stay that way with uh, not being explored? Uh, so I guess that is something very abnormal. We should just explore those inventions here in Cameroon. This is going to take the non-employment uh, out and uh, it's going to bring a lot of money to Cameroon. And in this advertorial, the Nextel Healthcare Program has just completed an outreach program in Omindom subdivision. During the health campaign, over 500 persons were consulted free of charge and free medication were given to them. Philip Sauté reports. Omeng is a locality in the Sanaga Maritime Division of the Littoral Region, but arriving there is through Bafia in the Central Region. No big deal as far as the Nextel Healthcare Program is concerned. The caravan was there with the now famous free consultation, free drugs to patients. We saw about 532 patients. The population of uh, Omeng is more constituted by old persons, children and women. Just like in other localities visited already, the diseases were varied and the medical team in place diagnosed and gave out drugs corresponding to the diseases. Pathology is found in this locality where bones and joint disease, dermatologic disease, uh, and we also found respiratory digestive disease, malaria in children and women. We saw chirurgical, we also found about 30 women with history of pregnancy. The social dimension of Nextel is another way of creating a closer link with the population through ensuring quality health that is a major booster to economic growth. We come to many, many places in Cameroon. It's the poorest and farthest place in Cameroon to take care of people. 
uh, and I'm sure that in the many years later, we will continue to do this program to, to show our responsibility of net health to the um, population in Cameroon. Reason why the population expressed profound gratitude to Nextel for this humanitarian gesture. Nextel est extra. Nextel est la une des temps ici à Oma. They admitted that this was the first of its kind by any multinational, hoping that the bond of friendship established will be strengthened even further. It was not just health care on the menu in Omeng. School equipment to help children in their school needs were also shared out to some happy recipients who expressed joy at the gesture. A health and educational gesture that shall remain memorable long after. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being there. This is the end of this edition of the news. We would be back again for what would have made news tomorrow. Keep watching programs here at the DBS television. God bless your day.